What's up everyone, John Brittinger from Techno Buffalo here with an unboxing of one of the latest phones in the Motorola Droid lineup. This is the Droid Ultra. Let's go ahead and unbox it and see how ultra this thing really is. Here is the box for the Droid Ultra with a very familiar red robot eye glaring at you. Nothing else super exciting package contains, but that's what we're going to show you in this video. We will slide off the sleeve with Gusto. Boom! There's Gusto, and there's that bigger eye. Hopefully this phone's got that definitely not annoying Droid boot up uh, animation and noise that goes with it. So here is the Droid Ultra. This is the first in the new uh, line of droids being joined by a Mini and a Max with two X's for extra emphasis. Uh, so it's got the nice uh, plastic back to it and all kinds of other business. We'll take a look at that in just a moment. Telling us to ingress. So there it is. This device doubles as an ingress scanner. So you can scan things. Uh, digging further into the box. Got getting to know your phone. Hello, phone. My name is John. What? That was a bad joke. Okay. Droid Ultra books, other books in different languages, product safety and warranty information. This should just say, like, don't put in the microwave or throw it at your sister's head. Uh, we've got a charging and sync cable, pretty standard variety micro USB. And we've got a wall wart with two prongs and a USB port for two USB ports. Well, that's new. Uh, that's kind of nice. You get an extra one for charging multiple things. Uh, if you'd like, but that's not the reason you're here. This is the reason you are here. We'll go ahead and peel off the sticker, see if we can get that whooshing noise. Kind of had it. All right, anything else on the back? We got a sticker covering the Motorola logo. Uh, let's go ahead and boot this up and see if we do have that animation. Uh, and I'll walk you guys through all the specs. So now it says Motorola, a Google company. That's new as far as I can tell. Um, so we've got, there it is. Every time I test a new Droid phone, my wife always gets upset because I get inadvertently turn it on before I get out of bed in the morning. It, Droid! Sounds like the alarm in the house are going off. All right, so we've got a three capacitive buttons on the bottom. We've got a back button, a home button, and a multitasking button. On the left-hand side, there's nothing. On the right-hand side, you've got a volume rocker up and down, really well-pronounced buttons. You'll have no problem finding these. They've got some texture on them as well on the power and the lock button. Around the back, you'll find the 10 megapixel camera. On the front, we've got a two megapixel camera. The screen you're looking at here is a five inch display with 1280 by 720, giving it a 294 PPI. Uh, Android 4.2 uh, at launch is on here. Uh, it's got two gigs of RAM and 16 gigs of storage, but it's not expandable. I'm happy to see Motorola kept those little circle widgets. I really like that uh, from the skin previously known as Moto Blur. Uh, Wi-Fi here, it's got all kinds of goodness crammed into it. 802.11a, b, g, n, and a, c at both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. Bluetooth 4.0 uh, and a pretty nice size 2130 milliamp hour battery. Uh, NFC uh, is also here as well. And it weighs 4.94 ounces or 140 grams and should be available in black or red. Although the black version does look pretty sweet. Uh, so let's see what we're going to have here. Uh, it looks like the most part Motorola is letting Android be Android, which makes sense because they're now owned by Google. Uh, so a couple carrier bundled apps here. Uh, one of the ones I really like, and this one is not a carrier, but Motorola is Moto Assist. Uh, we saw that in the Moto X and I really liked it. It'll read you text messages while you're driving. It'll put your phone automatically in silent when you're in meetings, or when you go to bed. A lot of really cool things there. So don't just assume that that uh, is something you want to uh, overlook. Definitely take a look at it. There's some Verizon stuff, mobile hotspot. Uh, my Verizon Mobile uh, migrate and make it easier to switch over to your phone from something else. NFL Mobile uh, and some other Verizon things, which chances are you probably won't take much of a look at. Um, so let's see what else we're going to have in the widget wise. Maybe there's something new and fancy here we haven't seen. Uh, pretty standard stuff so far. There is the Droid Command Center. And I really like that widget. Um, and I'm happy to see that it's still kept itself uh, in the new line of Droid phones. We'll go ahead and leave that there. And you can flick through a kind of different stuff here. Only one circle widget can be added, so I can't have more. Um, so there's the one that I can show you. Uh, they do a lot more to it. I'll do a quick size comparison here with the Galaxy S4. Go ahead and turn that screen off. You can see that they are very similar uh, in size, actually very similar in feel as well. Uh, the plastic back feels a little more sturdy here uh, on the Droid Ultra, and perhaps it's because the back is not removable. Uh, so bear that in mind as well. See what these two guys look like? Got a black and a white one. Um, 
and there they are sort of staring down each other uh, like rivals. Um, so go ahead and pick this guy up from your Verizon store. Definitely check the prices because they change almost on a daily uh, basis. Uh, it is being powered, I should mention, by a 1.7 gigahertz dual core processor. So it sort of falls into the mid to high range uh, of the Droid line and Verizon's line of devices. Anything you guys want to see, leave them in the comments down below. Make sure that we show them to you. Uh, please give the video a thumbs up. We definitely appreciate it. Check us out at technoandbuffalo.com for the latest and greatest tech news. Until next time, I'm John Rettinger. I'll see you later. What's up, everyone? It's Ashley. Thanks so much for watching that most recent video. If you enjoyed it, please click on the word subscribe right underneath me to get tons of more tech videos from us here at Techno Buffalo. We have got unboxings, comparisons, reviews, recaps, and everything else you can think of here on the channel. If you're in the mood for more technology, just click right over here to check out some of our most recent videos. See you next time, humans.